For my fieldwork research, I've been keeping a journal to document my research and findings, using the process of analysis and adaptation to realign my content with my analytics, research and audience engagement. Quote from Christopher Moore. By taking notes on the nuances, this work can remind you how to create content when you are struggling or need reminding. As for conceptualising, my Instagram will be explored more deeply this next week, as it is harder to compare how well content is doing slash audience preferences based on the lower levels of likes and overall engagement. Although my audience remains primarily on TikTok, it seems to be harder to gain followers on that platform as opposed to Instagram. This is a concept I will research in the following week. Quote, it's best to create content that's shareable with a high potential to go viral, such as TikTok. On the other hand, businesses targeting a broader demographic may find more success on Instagram, as noted by Bailey. Let's look into the key moments of this week. Audience engagement was a big one. The amount of engagement on this specific piece of content was a moment of celebration for my TikTok, as my research seems to be aiding my content creation and understanding of this media niche's audience. It gave me a few ideas for next week's content creation, looking into makeup trends and hairstyles that are popular within this niche. Instagram hashtags were also a big point of victory. I gained a lot of engagement through the use of over 15 hashtags, finding a significant difference between 5 and 15. This will aid me in gaining views and followers for my Instagram, which although that doesn't seem important, it is when I'm researching an audience and trying to understand what works and what doesn't. Stay tuned for next week while I will be exploring my concepts in more depth.